Evidence that could help determine the cause of the Lahaina fire may have been destroyed. These new details, according to an email exchange between an attorney for a Hawaiian electric company and other attorneys. Two days after the wildfire devastated Lahaina, a group of attorneys notified the utility of the anticipated litigation. They asked that all electrical equipment that may relate to the origin of the fire, including power poles, lines, and conductors, be preserved. HECO's attorney responded, saying some potential evidence may have been compromised during the firefight. The court issued an interim discovery order on August 18th, directing HECO to preserve and protect all physical evidence within a defined area and refrain from destructive testing. It looks like we have ourselves a really weird yet really interesting situation on our hands going down, down in Maui right now as we speak. Look, I know we all have our own theories about how these fires started. We have our own ideas about what may be happening down in Maui. We all have our own thoughts and opinions, and I get it. But there hasn't been a formal investigation yet. A formal, official investigation has not been completed yet. Therefore, we don't have an official explanation for how this fire started. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to believe whatever official, you know, statements they make. I'm not going to believe in whatever excuses they come up with. But it's very important to note that we don't have an official cause for how this fire started yet. We don't even know exactly how many people are really missing. We don't know how many people are really dead. We basically know nothing at this point yet. The fingers are all the fingers are already being pointed at Hawaiian Electric. Last week, I believe Maui County filed a lawsuit against Hawaiian Electric. At this point, I believe there's over a half a dozen lawsuits right now that have been filed against this electric company. And they're all blaming downed power lines. They're saying that, you know, the power lines came down and the power lines caused the fires in Maui. Now, here is where things get really interesting. You see, I believe there were five fires that day on the island. Hawaiian Electric is admitting, look, we are to blame for at least two of the fires. Power lines went down. The power lines were still active. They caused these first two little brush fires that should have been put out. But from what they're claiming, they cut off the power. The power was shut down for six hours before the fire broke out that ultimately destroyed Lahaina. There were five fires that day. Some were already brought under control. I believe there are reports that firefighters were leaving brush fires. They were leaving brush fires just to burn out, which is kind of weird. Um, a lot of people in the area, they're reporting that they didn't see any firefighters at all, which is weird as well. But the weirdest part is that Hawaiian Electric, it was like, look, you can blame us for the first two fires. That's on us. We made a mistake. The power should have been cut off sooner, but we didn't. The first two brush fires, that's on us. But the fire that ultimately went out of control and took out Lahaina, that has nothing to do with us. That's what they're claiming. They're claiming that they cut the power off six hours before that fire broke out. Therefore, they don't have anything to do with it. That, so this basically means a downed power line did not cause the fire that ultimately 
wiped out Lahaina. At least if we're to believe them. But before I go into more details, before I, you know, provide any more opinions or thoughts, let's go ahead and roll this clip really quickly. And then I'll be right back with more. We have breaking developments in the ongoing Maui wildfires investigation this morning. Hawaiian Electric Company is pushing back against a lawsuit filed by Maui County last week blaming the company for the wildfires that killed more than 100 people, caused billions of dollars in damages, and left hundreds missing. The company says that fallen power lines may have started a fire on the morning of August 8th, but power lines in West Maui were de-energized for six hours prior to the beginning of this wildfire in Lahaina. Sheely Kamura, president and CEO of Hawaiian Electric, said in a statement that, quote, we were surprised and disappointed that the county of Maui rushed to court even before completing its own investigation, end quote. The county is seeking compensation. So for this is a huge deal, folks. This is a really big deal. I understand it might not be the most exciting piece of news that we've gotten out of this situation. I understand that it may not be as engaging as some of the stories and firsthand accounts that we're hearing from these fires, but this is huge. Because right now, you know, everyone's kind of been on the page that, oh, you know, downed power lines caused these fires. But if Hawaiian Electric is telling the truth and they're able to prove it, then what? Then what do we blame? Because if downed power lines didn't cause the fire, then what the hell did? And better yet, if the power was cut off for six hours and these power lines didn't cause the fire, they knew that, so why would they blame Hawaiian Electric? Now, like I told you all, this happens when it comes to disasters and situations like this. You get a lot of finger pointing. And it does not fly over my head that this could just be Another example of, oh, I'm going to blame you, you blame me, blame, we're going to play the blame game and then no one gets held accountable. No one has to suffer any consequences. And, you know, the people don't really know who to blame. So I'm not here to say that Hawaiian Electric is telling the truth because they could be lying. And if they are, that's still bad too, right? Either way, we're not getting the truth. Someone is lying. Either Hawaiian Electric is lying or, you know, the county is lying or everyone's lying and they're all in it together. And that's kind of what I think is going on. I know that, you know, these these agencies, they play the blame game. I always refer back to East Palestine, Ohio, but we saw it there. Let's blame FEMA. No, we're going to blame the governor. No, we're going to blame Norfolk Southern. No, we're going to blame this. Then we're going to blame them and then them and then them and then them. And before you know it, your mind's swirling around and you don't know who to blame. And, it, and you know, no one ever suffers the consequences. No one gets held accountable. Everything just randomly eventually goes away. So that may be what's happening here, but I'm not so sure. Because, you see... We're waiting on the investigation. And, you know, I understand that Maui County may, you know, want to blame Hawaiian Electric and there may be a lawsuit, but you would think there would be an investigation first. But they're not even waiting. They're not waiting for the investigation. They're not waiting for official information. It's just like all sides are going to start flinging mud at each other. And really, they're all collectively to blame. But right now, we got to figure out, hey, is this all just a big, a big game? Is this all just a big blame game? Or is there really a division here? Is there an attempt here to, to place all the blame on Hawaiian Electric when in reality, they didn't have anything to do with it? Is Hawaiian Electric in on all of this? Or are the powers that be just deciding, you know what, we're going to dump everything on them. We're going to get the heat off of us. 
Blame Hawaiian Electric. Go ahead and roll out the lawsuits. Who cares if the investigation is done or not? Who cares if we've even started the investigation? We're just going to go ahead and blame them. We're going to crank out the lawsuits. We're going to drum up, you know, the public's anger and everyone's going to be angry at Hawaiian Electric. And then meanwhile, the governor, you know, Oprah, Bill Gates, all of these other people, they just skate away in the sunset. But I'm going to keep my eyes on the situation because this is, like I said, it's a huge deal. And I think it says a lot. It shows for a fact, it shows for a fact that someone's not being trustworthy. You can decide who you think's telling the truth. And it also shows the cracks. The cracks that are already forming here. Maybe they're already turning on each other. It's just so much. It's so much and it's so frustrating to think about. Well, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. And I'll talk to you all very soon in the next video.